You can't match me balancing with two beams. Well, yeah, check me out with my brick and a beam. Dang, Chris, you're crazy. Hey, guys, I want to play. I can do two bricks and two beams. No, 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 Bernard, get down. I'm going to be fine, Neil. You guys never let me hang out. You're going to knock down our hard work, and Rita is going to get mad. Or worse, you're going to hurt yourself. Man, y'all just mad? I'm higher on the girder than you. Oh no! Look what you... Hey guys! Let's see what kind of progress you've made! Ooh, and great job, Bernardo! Keep that height! What? And Chris, I'll be back in an hour, so this better be cleaned up by then! Hey, I told you guys I was cool enough to hang! Ooh. Why does everyone look mad? Chris? Chris, why are you holding the brick like that? Guys? Welcome to Tabletop Island. I'm Bernardo, your host, and today we're going to be talking about the board game... Men at work. And this game, this is a cool dexterity game. Now, I am a big fan of dexterity games, but there are a lot of popular ones out there that are getting a lot of attention and I don't understand why. One being Tokyo Highway. Now, the big difference between why I would go for a game like Men at Work over Tokyo Highway is the look of it. The theme fits perfectly. You are these construction workers who are trying to add girders and beams and bricks while holding them and moving up to try to get to the highest point. With Tokyo Highway, it is a gray kind of dull board of building this highway with these little cars. And while I understand the likability for it, I don't understand it by its theme and it doesn't look visually entertaining. Now you can be the judge of that for yourself, but I'm not here to talk about that game. I'm here to talk about men at work. The theme itself is great. The little meeples with the hard hats. I absolutely love them. It's hilarious. And I'll be honest with you, for a dexterity game, this game is pretty hard. Mind you, when I first played it, I thought the simple um, kind of layout was too easy, so I decided to go for the intermediate version. Boy, was I crazy for that. I should have started with the beginner because it is very hard. Maybe I just realized that day that I'm bad at dexterity games, but it is very hard to get the guys to hold on to the bricks. And some cards that are revealed for you, they make it so you have to have the brick or beam on his hand while you're putting him onto the girder. Uh, after you place the girder, which is already hard in itself, so it can be pretty tricky. But I will be honest with you, the theme itself makes sense and it is absolutely a blast to play. Looking at the pieces in the board when it's final is amazing and if you can get a good group that can get it pretty tall, it will be a fantastic game. I struggled a little bit when it came down to me around two, trying to keep it steady and adding in the beams, especially if your opponent's trying to make it so you lose. So the objective, there is an objective too and there's a way to lose points and uh, elimination, things of that nature. So if you knock things down, the next player cleans it up, but you get one of those certificates taken away from you. Um, which if you get too many taken away, depending on the player count, you are out. And if um, it comes down to the card where um, each round the boss Rita ends up taking a look to see who's hot on the highest point there for us, that person gets an award. And X amount of awards creates the condition for the victory of the game. You either get to that point or if every player loses all their certificates except what last player standing wins. I think the game plays for a decent amount of time since the cards itself do dictate what colors you put down and how you cross and things of that nature. So that is unique in itself. There is some strategy to it. I will say again, it is a pretty tricky game to play. If you're not steady with your hands, it might not be the kind of game for you. Um, dexterity wise, there are other dexterity games that are a little bit less tricky. This one, the theme is fantastic and I love how it looks. So it definitely has a place in my collection. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to make these videos more and more outrageous, so your feedback has been very helpful. If you are interested in notifications, there is a bell up there somewhere where you can get notified when I release my new videos. On Monday, I do my regular board game reviews. Wednesday, weekly updates slash talks. And then on Friday is my vintage board game reviews. That is all I have for you guys today. See you guys next time.